Hi, Gemini. So this is going to be your June or mid-June. How do you feel about me reading? Okay. It's going to be a general reading for all Geminis. So if it doesn't resonate with your sun, rising, moon, or Venus signs, probably not your reading. I'm going to shovel the cards. I'm going to shovel a few more times. And then we can get started. energy we have the nine of cups okay person that you may have dealt with or may be dealing with okay the devil and your energy we have the five of cups Let's see if these can stay out today that would be great okay I think oh my god it's gonna be one of those readings I think so <laughs> crossing the, oh my god, this is so too much for me. Um, what's crossing the nine of the cups? We have the star, okay? So, here's what we got. Now, the nine of cups is about sitting pretty, right? It's like, ah, you know, I, I wish fulfillment, wish granted. So someone's feeling good, right? Someone may have gotten their wish fulfilled. Someone may be doing very well. Um, you know, getting some sort of attention, recognition, prosperity, or in a relationship situation, right? Um, what's causing the star? We have is the star sign of Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is about healing, hope. It's like, you know, maybe you have been healing from something. Maybe there's hope in the situation again, and you feel better. Okay. It's also about the stars aligning. So you could be experiencing, um, you know some sort of prosperity or abundance in your life because the stars are aligning for you in some way, okay? Now, the person you're dealing with their energy with the devil, Capricorn energy, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart, but the devil is really about codependency, toxic behaviors, um, feeling bound. This person may feel bound to you, so they may be kind of codependent on you. They may be feeling, they may be kind of needy, clingy, or just acting in ways that are, um, you know, a little bit difficult for you to deal with, right? Um, like I said, they may feel bound to you, so they may come in and out of your life, or they may be doing things that are um, stressful for you, right? You may feel a little stifled by this person. Or they could also be involved in toxic behaviors. Um, you know, anything in a, in Really anything in excess could be toxic. So drinking, drugs, um, sex, um, it doesn't matter. It could be anything, right? Now in your energy, we have the five of cups. Somebody who's ready to let go of the past and kind of move forward, right? It doesn't mean walking away from this person forever, but right now it just means kind of walking your own path and really leaving the past hurt behind. The situation could have hurt you. Um, something may have happened here where you know, it's almost like their behavior could have hurt you in some way. But like I said, it's about healing. You may be feeling good and, you know, leaving this past hurt behind. Just letting things go in some way, okay? So let's see how this person feels about you. We're going to start out with some love messages. Cool, my deck's just fell on the floor. So I'm going to have to get this in a minute, but first let's start with some love messages. Let's see, how does how this person that Gemini is thinking about, how do they feel about Gemini? What are their feelings towards Gemini? spiritual union and this person may feel like they've got some deeper connection with you they may feel like there's a spiritual union here um some like you may f hold the same spiritual beliefs you may um have the same spiritual practice something on a deeper level they feel very connected to you though okay 
Then we have, I'm grateful for you. So this person is thankful that they either have you in their life or they have had you in their life, okay? The person is grateful for, you know, the experience and just being with you. So they are grateful for you. Um, especially when you are with them, right? <clears throat> What else do we have? We have dominate me. So this person may like to be dominated. This person may like you to be in control. Okay. Um, they may like that energy that you have. Right. Um, again, they may be a little more passive, this person. Um, so I'm getting a, this energy from them that's like, you know, I feel like they really like you to take control in the situation. So then we have office sex. So this could have been something that you two engaged in. Um, you know, but for me, a lot of times this card is really about breaking the rules, right? Um, doing things that are a little forbidden and living spontaneously, right? So maybe they could be spontaneous with you and you kind of brought that out with them. Right? It doesn't have to actually be office sex. For some of you, yeah, maybe you did have office sex. Um, but it's really about being spontaneous, right? So I'm going to get some more messages here. Let's see what else we've got going on. How this person feels about you. What they want to tell you. We have mice. So worry, anxiety, stress. A constant niggle and loss. Okay, so these two are look like they're in a little union here. But it's almost like this connection stresses them out it makes them worry for some reason it's like it may be a hard connection for them to maintain it's like they feel like they may be losing you um or they lost you right they just kind of feel like they don't have you fully i think and i think that gives them anxiety happening with these cards today? It's like everything wants to fly off the table. I'm going to try that again. Okay, so then we have love language. So some me social media, text, calls, and dating. So maybe a lot of your relationship was online or something like that, or like, you know, you kept in touch by social media. Maybe they're watching your social media. Okay. Um, you know, it's like they're thankful that you have social media, I think, so they can keep tabs on you. Um, I feel like if you two are not together, they're definitely grateful that <laughs> that is a means of, like, a window into your life, right? They're, they're happy that they've got that. Then we have stars, divine guidance, healing, and inspiration. Okay, we do have the star card, right? Um, so here it is again. But it's almost like, you know, with a dominate me card, this could be something where they feel like they can't control things and they need you to control things. They may be a passive person. Um, and this is part of their healing process, okay? This is something that they need guidance on. Like this is their own stuff right? They may not take control. They may want you to take control because they can't make choices for themselves. And I feel like that's part of their own lesson and part of their own healing process that they need to go through. Then we have letter. Thoughtful, passionate, loving communication. Now, through all the sex, maybe, you know, like I said, it's a very spontaneous kind of thing. Um, so maybe this was a way for them to feel like things were thoughtful, right? Obviously, office sex can be very passionate, right? Very spontaneous. And I, like I said, I feel like this is something that kind of made them feel very alive. Um, you know, this would, could have been a, like a means of communication for them, right? 
Maybe this is when they express their feelings, when you were having these spontaneous moments. So let's get some more messages. Let me have, why the hell did you push them away for? Right, so maybe you push them away. Maybe they felt like, again, because like I said, they may felt this union, right? Um, and I feel like it, a spiritual union, a deep union. I feel like it gave them anxiety. Um, and it's almost like they felt like they were going to lose you. And they may have felt like you pushed them away in some way, right? Like why, it's, it's like if you have the spiritual union, why would you push them away? Um, that's, um, that's the thing. This is how, this is what's coming across in their energy. Um, doesn't, it's just their perception. It doesn't mean that this is what's happening. You know, you may have a completely different perception of the situation. Maybe they were too needy. Maybe they were too clingy. Maybe they, you know, did whatever. But this is how it, they're viewing things. It's almost like they felt like they were going to lose you and they don't know why you pushed them away. They're all work about work, work, work. Yeah. So it's almost like you may post about work on social media. Maybe social media is part of your work. Um, you know, for some of you that are really like more um, active on social media, it's almost like, um, you know, you may, they may rely on checking your Instagram, checking your profile, whatever, right? Um, and it's almost like they, you could be really engrossed in posting about work right now, okay? Or posting other things. It's like they're not getting what... I don't think that they're getting what they need from, like, creeping on your social media right now. Um, they may just feel like... I mean, they're thankful they have that outlet, but it's almost like they're not getting the information that they're looking for. Do you know what I mean? Um, especially if you're just posting things like, oh, you know, not that you're in a new relationship. And I think that may be what they're looking for if you're not in separation for that with them. It's like this person may think that they can get that information from your, you know, Instagram or Facebook or whatever you use. But you may not be posting about that. You may just be, you know, doing more posts about work, something like that, right? So let's see what else we've got here. Then we have tell them you love them before it's too late. So, like I said, this person, rely. I think they want you to take control of the situation. This is the dominating card. Like they want you to take control of the situation, right? Um, they need that from you. You go there. They got the devil card, which is like I said, codependency. It's kind of toxic patterns, but it can be like a clean, like. A need to be validated by another person so this may be the dynamic here they may felt like they had to be validated by you right maybe they needed to hear and I love you from you maybe you didn't give them that um, you know now here's the thing and I will say this going forward you know the energies are always interchangeable so if you're not resonating with any of that and you identify more with these feelings like oh well, it was me that I needed the I love you right this could totally be you okay but, you know, it should be from them just because this is how they feel about you. Um, but again, if the energies are interchangeable, so you never know. You could pip be picking up yours, too. And this person may feel like it's maybe too late. Like, there's no turning back. Like, you've walked away from them, maybe. And then we have, you know the timing is off. Don't push it. So they may feel like it's not the right time. Right? They may want to come together with you. They want things to be spontaneous. They're, they could be, again, waiting for this communication from you. Maybe, you know, spur of the moment communication, spontaneous communication from you. Something thoughtful, passionate, loving, right? But it's like the timing's off for some reason. Um, I feel like this person doesn't have a lot of confidence in themselves. Um, you know, so they may feel like you've moved on. So, what I'm going to do is get some blocks, okay? These are blocks for them. 
These are just going to be some energies that are not moving forward. Okay. So what are some blocks for the present that Gemini is dealing with? Like what I said, this surprise and unexpected messages on the way. Like I said, spontaneous communication. I think that they're waiting for this. They're stuck um, thinking that you're going to message them or something. Okay. But look, I just get that strong feeling that they really think that, you know, they're waiting. And it's like they're stuck to something here. And then we have unexpected news, stunning revelations are on the way. So you've got news and a message, right? This person is waiting to see if you're going to just kind of, I think they're waiting for you to like declare your love for them or something, you know, or like, I don't know what they're waiting on, but this person is definitely stuck waiting on something here because in your energy, you're walking away. And then we have healing. Someone needs to heal old wounds. <sighs> We've got the star card twice, healing, right? Or healing. So it's like there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here. And I, th and I think that's why this person is stuck. They're just not really going within and, and checking themselves to, and, like, observing their own stuff. You know, I think, again, it could be a codependent thing where they're really stuck on um, your validation from you in some way. Then we have acceptance. Receive what comes in without judgment. This person is not accepting what's happening here. I think that they're judging the situation um, as bad, right? You want to, really acceptance is about not judging things as good or bad, right? You accept what comes in. Um, you don't have to like it, but you don't judge it, right? So I feel like there, this, since this is a block, right? There's a block to them accepting the situation. There's a block to them um, about, you know, judging the situation as whatever, good, bad, whatever. Um, but there's a definite block here. Okay. So let me pick up this other deck. I'm sorry, I can't help it. They just wanna they just wanna move. Okay. I'll look at the rest. Okay, I think that's all of these cards. Alright, let's keep going. So let's see what we got here. Get more blocks. Get some messages from them specifically. Okay. What are some messages from that? Okay, here we go. We have you intimidate me. Okay. So I feel like they're intimidated by you. I've already said like they're kind of like, you know, I, I think that they put you on a pedestal in some way, um, you know. But again, I think this is why they're waiting for a message. Uh, they're not going to reach out first. They're, in, they're intimidated by you. They're uh, waiting for you to message them first. Here. Let me know if I still fantasize about to you. Okay. Now, this is coming out of our unexpected news and stunning revelations are on the way. So it's almost like I think that they're fantasizing about being with you or some like a relationship or whatever it is. But I think. It's like they're blocked and they, they're waiting for this news, right? They're waiting for you to kind of tell them, yeah, let's get back together or let's be, the, let's do this, let's do that. Or, you know, they're, they're waiting for something here and they're, they're fantasizing about the future with you. Um, but again, they're intimidated. I think they're not ready to reach out. I think that they think that maybe you'll shut them down or you've already walked away. Which is why they may be, you know, looking at your social media, waiting to, trying to gauge whether or not you moved on. Are you with someone else, right? Okay. All right. Let's put this back in 
here. Now, we also have, even if I never told you, I loved you the best I knew how in the moment, right? Coming out over healing, okay? So again, something needs to heal. It's like this person, the way that they acted with you, they didn't know how to, it's like, that's the best they knew how to do, right? They need to heal whatever past trauma they've got, you know, it could be from a previous relationship or, you know, childhood stuff, but they, they have to, you know, work on themselves, right? Um, because it kind of, it came out, it may have came out in this relationship in some way, these wounds that this, this person has. Um, you know, they may have some abandonment and rejection issues. I mean, to some degree, everybody has that. Everybody falls on the spectrum somewhere. Nobody likes rejection. So, let's see what's the, then we have, yeah, I never stop loving you. Okay, so acceptance, receive what comes in without judgment, right? This person needs to accept that, you know, for right now, that you may not be in communication with them. Um, again, I feel like they're fixated on this idea of you, okay? And it's almost like they, they're not letting go. <laughs> they don't wanna let you go. So let's get some confessions from this person. What other things do they want to tell you? Get some confessions of why they did what they did. Why did this person do what they did? How did they act the way they acted? What do they need to tell you? We have, I have trust issues. I have been let down in the past. Okay? So they may have trouble trusting, right? They may have trouble trusting you because maybe they find you intimidating. Maybe they think that you're going to leave them or reject them or whatever. Um, you know, I, I think they're always, they may have always been waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? This person doesn't have a lot of confidence in themselves, I think, and they have trust issues. They're intimidated by you to the point where they can't even send a message. You know, they're, I think they're very afraid that you're going to walk away and reject them. And then we have, I'm facing so many challenges in my life. I feel like I am sinking with no way out. Okay. So they're thinking about you, right? It's like they may have gotten, um, it's almost like without you in their life, they feel like they're sinking, right? Um, so they're fantasizing about you. Um, and I think they're just still waiting for you to kind of tell them that you want to be with them or something give them some indicator right yeah, i think that's what they're looking for because they're and so they're not getting that indication so i think that they feel like they're they're losing this opportunity to be with you not just because somebody's not making moves like i said doesn't necessarily mean that they're not thinking these things right if they're just sort of sitting back in the background and you're like this person doesn't give a shit about me that might be true it may not be true because then we have you know you intimidate me this person is fearful right so then we have, I come from a broken home. I can't handle another broken relationship. Right under healing. Someone needs to heal old wounds, okay? Um, this is like going back to their past trauma. This person may come from a broken home. They may come from a, a situation where they fear rejection because maybe in the past they were rejected by a, by a parent or they felt rejected. It doesn't necessarily mean they were, but as children you can... Um, you're very sensitive to anything like, you know, say you're, one of your parents walks out and goes somewhere in the middle of the night and there's, not in the middle of the night, but like before dinner or something and they say that they have to, they were going to see you instead, but they do that. There you go. There's a rejection wound. They're small, but as a child, you really take things so, so personally and you don't blame the parent because the parent is your primary caregiver. And if you blame the primary caregiver, that puts you in a very, very vulnerable position. You all, like the child always kind of puts that caregiver on a pedestal. So as an adult, these wounds resurface in romantic relationships. That's pretty much how it works. Someone who's studied this for a long time, <laughs> you know, it's uh, time and time again, you know, it's like this comes up. Um, so what's another confession that they have for you? We have, I'm battling unhealthy addiction. I can't. I 
can't. I'm battling unhealthy addictions. I wouldn't be able to be there for you right now. What is this? Unhealthy addictions is the devil card. Like I've said, toxic behavior, addictions, codependency. That's what the devil card is. Now, for some of these, you know, for some of you, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that they're like codependent. They could just be battling some sort of toxic behavior right now. Okay, everyone's situation is going to be different. But they never did stop loving you, right? It's like they're, but they're, I think that they're acting out right now. They may be drinking excessively or partying or whatever. Who knows what they're doing? But it's like they are battling some unhealthy addictions within themselves. They've got their own demons here. Uh, because I feel like they haven't dealt with this issue in the past, right? So let's get a few more. This is going longer than I had intended. <laughs> then we have surprise engagement. I feel like this person is afraid that you're going to get into a relationship. Um, <laughs> Like I said, I feel like they're, they, they may surprise you and want to get engaged, um, but I also feel like they're so in, enmeshed in fear that they feel like you're going to just jump into another relationship. Then we also have date at the park. So maybe this is something that you two did. Maybe you had a date at the park before. Maybe you spent a lot of time outdoors together. Um, you know, I, I think that these are just things that they're ruminating on. The potential of you moving on, I think it scares them because, you know, they're still thinking about the past, right? These cards just don't want to cooperate today. Now, I mean, one of you, could you get engaged? Yeah, sure. Right? Um, like I said, everyone's going to be different. Sometimes, like, a marriage card will come up and everyone thinks they're getting married. Not necessarily. It just means a higher level of commitment. Um, contracts, we have contracts too, but for this, you know, surprise engagement just could be that they, someone could be getting engaged, but also, yeah, like I said, I think that they're really nervous that you're going to move on and, you know, take, commit to somebody else and take things to a higher level of commitment with someone else. Then they have, we, they have a secret lover. I think that um, this person that you're dealing with, they may be um, trying to lick their wounds with somebody else. Um, additionally, they may think that you have some sort of secret uh, partner here going on. That could be something that they're thinking about. Because again, these are all their fears and their blocks and their messages to you. And then we have, they are madly in love with you. Yeah, no shit. Pretty much came up in every single card. So, uh, I think we got that pretty clear. So, you know, this is their, their side. Okay, how they're perceiving of the situation. Now the last message is just going to be an angel message. How to move things forward, okay? Now whatever you decide to do, right? You may just want to move on and never deal with this person again. Okay, like, adios. I'm out of here. I'm not interested, right? Or you may want to work things out with them. You know, either way, okay? This is, gonna, uh, this is just guidance on how to move things forward in the best way for you and your highest good. Okay. We have within the next few months, all right? So it's like things are going to start shifting in the next few months. So pay attention to what happens right now. Um, but I feel like things are going to change in some way. It may be very unexpected because you do have unexpected news, unexpected revelations. And then we do have be assertive. So stand up for what you believe in. If you're not going to take this person's shit, don't take it. Right? Don't take it. There's no reason. Um, you have to really speak your truth and stand up for what you believe in and what you want. Don't be mean about it, but, you know, be assertive, right? Stand up for what you believe in. Um, and within the next th th couple months, right, things are going to start changing. So that is your reading, Gemini. I hope that it resonated. If it did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.